Welcome to another tutorial about Build Your Own ISO. Build Your Own ISO gives you the freedom to change whatever we uh, put in there. So we have files, you can edit and change, build your own ISO, build it on a uh, burn it on USB, test it out. Now we have made already tutorials about arcolinux.com, so you can check out what the Build Your Own ISO means. Um, but this is based on Arco, the Arco Linux 2 gigabyte. So the video I'm gonna make now is based on the one of one gigabyte. So this one is going to install the very minimum and then you build everything up. That's the idea. So also here you can do a build your own ISO. For instance, people who have uh, the need of a Bumblebee um, or, or network support or anything like that, more hardware minded, they can add these packages they need to uh, be able to run Arco Linux uh, efficiently. So, <coughs> how should we proceed? Like always, you go to the GitHub. So there's this Arco Linux GitHub and there's Arco Linux D. The D is for all the scripts if you want to um, install, awesome and all that. And this one is to actually build an ISO. So we have two GitHubs, Arco Linux D. ISO and Arco Linux ISO. So this time we're gonna build from the one gigabyte. So we're gonna get this URL. That's one thing. That's it. Go to the file manager, make yourself an Arco Linux folder, and inside the folder you're gonna git clone or copy paste, control shift V. <coughs> That's it. And if you've seen the other tutorials of uh, Arco Linux already, the build your own ISO, it's going to be very similar. I've just made sure that all the numberings are the same. So it's always number 30, build the ISO local. So it's the question of will we change anything or not? Because if you want to change anything, it's going to be here in the packages both. So in this video, we're not going to change anything. We're just going to build the ISO and see what happens. So open terminal here. That guy goes up here. That one goes up here. And you say, run me number 30. It's going to get a lot of information. Uh, download a bash file and all that. And then he wants to know your passwords. You say yes and you say yes. And a third time yes is the charm and now it's waiting waiting till the iso is built now this one is faster to build of course it's only one gigabyte of um, we have a problem here okay so this happens it's good that it's in the video what you do is best maybe Control c already and run again um, because of um, latency or, or, or um, traffic on the GitHub's things sometimes go uh, berserk. Maybe it's even better for me to stop the video here and wait till everything is cleared and so we get them communication. This is leaseweb.net which has a connection timeout. Maybe I should run mirror that should solve things a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Leaseweb is not a good uh, server at this point in time. So let's do a mirror and see if there are servers that do not have a connection timeout after 10,000 milliseconds I suppose that's 10 seconds okay let's try again I hope we took something else at least web <laughs> and we're off so yeah servers can go down it's a um, it's a computer There are so many reasons it can go down. <laughs> One of the reasons was <laughs> that there was this caterpillar in my street who was digging a hole and up oh, broke a cable. Done. No internet anymore. Another time there was this a Saturday night a guy who just sort of drove through this box of telephone stuff and gone. So there you go, um, I'm gonna wait for it to finish. Um, I'm making the video a little bit smaller, I'm gonna pause it here. 
So quick uh, reminder, 525 packages. The other one was 1100 or maybe 1200 packages. So it's a little bit different, one gigabyte and two gigabytes of ISO. This is quicker to build. And there we are already. We are making our ISO. So the CPU is going all the way up and you can see it in both graphics. And we'll have to wait till this finishes. And it's finished. So it's going to make the ISO of 915 megabytes. We are under one gig. Fine. And you, when you make an ISO, you go test. So super F7. And you say, let's test this thing. Let's make a new one in this case. Arco Linux with a D. And let's take 5050. Create next. 25. Create. Then tell the system that we have eight cores. We can take four. That's it. Choose a disk image. Go to your home directory. Go to Arco Linux D with a D. If you see the other tutorials, this is this one is with a D. Arco Linux D build. Watch ISO out and this one. So it's still numbered 6.6.1. Um, and there we go. Start. We click on the first line. Make sure we have control F like this, full screen. And there we go. So we have the Arco Linux D installer and we have here the right mouse click. All these things will not work because we have not installed them. Right? We did not install Melt, we did not install Catfish, but that's why this is a minimal one. You don't need to be here to, to check anything here. All you need to do is choose your language, choose where you're from, the locales and all that. Next, choose the keyboard. Next, erase the disk. Next, next. who are you? And then there's the D. This won't do anything. I mean, log in automatically without using your password. There is nothing to log into. There is no desktop environment. It's just a minimal environment. You choose if you want awesome. You choose if you want Mate, BSP, WM, and so on and so on. So a lot of choices, a lot of desktops. It all boils down to your preferences. And let's be honest, the preference of today is not going to be the preference of tomorrow. So it's good that we switch desktops it's it's a learning process it's fun to discover other desktops so everything is available on arch just a good tutorial or a good um, support somewhere and you figure your way around in for instance lxqt or in mate any of those but it's sometimes well but that's also the fun it's an uh, investigation, it's a Sherlock Holmes story sometimes to figure out things. Almost there. So that's the, 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 the importance of the ease of this ISO. It's so fast uh, to build it and it's so fast to install it, of course. It's just one gigabyte. Restart. Done. Now we choose line 2, since the USB or the ISO is still in there. And there we go. Let's see, what did we make? What did we create? A beautiful look, of course. And what we do always, we never, I never know, you never know, well, you know what part of the country you're in, but Arch doesn't know. So check it out. First mirror, so he gets the fastest mirrors in your neighborhood where you live. And when you've done that, you do the update. And indeed, we have an update for Sardis icons, and there's an update for Trizen, was it? 
So you update everything and then it's up to you to decide, hey, let's take Awesome or let's install Gnome, for instance, or Cinnamon. We have already eight desktops to choose from. Well, the fun of um, build your own ISO is that you can dig in further and say, okay, I want to change this or that hardware piece because I need it or because I have a specific, special kind of a motherboard or graphical card or anything really. Go look on the Arch Wiki, see what applications, uh, what, what packages you require, put it on the packages both, and that's it. But now we've changed nothing. So it's all good, it's, it's the way it is. Um, well, there's not much to do for me. The only thing I can do is now start installing stuff. Um, why not? do a quick a small part of uh, cinnamon so git clone git clone what https github.com from where arco linux it's a small iso so it's with a d slash is arco and cinnamon and then you have this information this folder cd a is enough tab ls and yeah of course don't forget to run the zero zero so you have all cores available when you build everything it's going to be faster to build if you do that and then let's just install quickly cinnamon and show you how ugly it is when you sudo reboot without any theming without any icons without any wallpapers it's not gonna be the nicest thing to look at but it's cinnamon and that's also interesting to see the amount of tweaking we do in Arch Linux is, is incredible. Um, XFCE out of the box or i3 out of the box or open box out of the box is not nice. So, sudo reboot. Boot existing OS. <coughs> This is your look, this is cinnamon. Without anything added, without any theming, this is what it looks like. So there you go, we have now Arco Linux D. We've built it ourselves and we are now ready to install all the rest of the scripts. We just ran one, number 100, but we need to install everything else if we want to have a fully uh, working system. All right. Enjoy.